start in the morning When I'm stretching and I'm yawning And the last start as I lay my head at night Hi Maryam, thank you for talking to me. So you're performing at 8.30 at Camden Jazz Cafe, which is a great, great place for soul singers. Very popular. How are you feeling? I have been looking forward to this, <laughs> but I'm still scared as hell. <laughs> but I'm, I'm excited, actually. This is like the heart of soul and jazz, and that's kind of like your genre, with a bit of R&B and hip-hop as well. How did you come into music? What were your influences? Anybody that inspired you? I've always had music in me, since I was young. I've always had it in me. Haven't really done it professionally until recently. Had a lot of inspirations throughout the years. I grew up in the 90s, listened to a lot of 90s R&B. People like Faith Evans, Mary J. Blige, Amel LaRue, Erica Badu, Jill Scott. Those names seem to stand out. Those are all influences, and in you can definitely hear the influence of my music. I was really liking the track um, Waking Up and Feeling You. Who produces your music? The album was produced by the Astatine Collective, which is also my band back home. Waking Up, that was produced by Slap Symphony. I know it's quite a mix of your music. You've got like some really uplifting beats and, and some really catchy ones, and then some quite serious and calm ones. Do you, do you write your own music? I write all of my stuff. Is it quite therapeutic for you? Do you write from stuff that's actually happening in your life? Most, most of my music is inspired by life, uh, life experiences, things I see going on around me or stuff that's happened to me. But then again, it's also inspired by art. Do you find that music helps to keep you focused and on track? Yes, it does. Uh, music has been, as you said earlier, therapeutic. It's my release. After it's all out, it's sort of like meditation. You need to take time to meditate, get your thoughts together. That's what music is to me. So your album's called Waking Up. What are you hoping for your album? Well, Waking Up has been out for a year already. And so far within that year, it's done, it's exceeded my expectations of what I hoped for it. Um, I think in the future, I would like Waking Up to continue spreading the message, the message in the music. And um, we'll see what future projects do. That there's, I don't know where, where we go from here. The stars are the limit. <laughs> are you trying to reach out to people and educate them about life and love with your music? Or is it just kind of like something nice that people can listen to? I would say both. You know, music can carry a message and it also carries emotion. A lot of my music comes from emotion, something real. And sometimes there is a message behind it. So you've come all the way from Hawaii and you've been in Amsterdam, Paris, Manchester. Where did you like the most? I love it here in London. Good answer. London, London, hands down. Are you very excited to see the crowds and their reaction in Camden? Mm -hmm. Just walking through that door and seeing seeing two people who are waiting for me, that's, wow. That's big for me. So I know you guys know the goods when you hear it. So, <laughs> And um, wow, it's, it's, it's just a great feeling. Okay, well, are you going to be performing um, track of Feeding You, Waking Up? Yes. So everything I'm doing tonight will be music from the album Waking Up. All right, well, you're on in a minute, so I'm going to let you go, but thanks for chatting to me, and I can't wait to see you. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs>